Hello singers, I'm Sophie Shear, and today we're talking about how to not lose your voice. I absolutely hate it for singers when they get halfway through the set and they start getting hoarse. Ugh, it's terrible. It's terrible for them, it's terrible for the audience. You wanna avoid that at all costs. Okay, let's talk about this. I'm gonna say something extremely against the grain, okay? Don't tell anybody. One of the major factors of losing your voice is simply using too much energy. Working too hard. The only thing that you need is the only thing that you need. Only the amount of energy that's necessary is necessary. Anything else is just making you work a lot harder. Many singers are kind of convinced that if they don't give everything that they have that they're a bad singer or people will not take notice of them. This is not the case. If you give too much, you will tire me out as I'm watching you. Then I'm not gonna wanna stick around. I'm gonna change a channel. I'm gonna go to a different bar. I'm gonna uh, skip the CD, whatever. So in your heart, you have to know that whatever you bring to the table is good, whether or not you give a thousand percent, okay? Even if you give just 10% because it's the most effective for that part of the song, it's gonna be amazing. If you do have a part of a song where you need to give a thousand percent, you can do that and then you haven't turned off your audience because you gave them a thousand percent the whole time. So don't fall into the trap of thinking that it has to be at full capacity to be effective. I'll give you a demonstration. This is an exercise that we do almost every day here in the studio. But if I do this at full capacity, Na 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 na. I'm just using way too much. It's over the top. It's superfluous. I'm I'm using extra energy and it's tiring me out. It's gonna tire me out about three times faster than using only the amount of energy that's necessary for the mood I'm trying to create. Okay, now again, you may have a moment in a song where you want to just reach up and punch him in the face with your voice. You can totally do that. But if you've done it the entire time, then that section of the song is nothing special. It's just the same. So practice this on a na na na. If your tendency is to just really gut it out, na 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 kind of tighten your stomach here a little bit so that you don't na 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 make it too breathy. Tightening the stomach will help tighten the vocal cords too, which will keep that tone a little more clear. Na 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 For this, kind of visualize that you're walking down a tightrope. Okay, it's very tiny movements here. Everything that you do on a tightrope has to be exact or you fall. So foot right in front of the other foot. Your toes are curled, kind of gripping that rope so that you don't fall. Same thing here. It's not big, off-the-wall movements. It's not big, over-the-top movements. It's very precise. Na 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 so there you have it. And of course, if you have an issue with trying to sing loud all the time, you already know you can do that. So you don't need as much practice with that. Really focus on this pulling back idea so that when you do sing a song, you're presenting a lot of different aspects of your voice to the listener. It keeps them engaged for longer and it saves your voice. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe here so you can get all the new vocal tips for free. And then you can connect with me on Twitter and Facebook at Sophie Shear. Try to hit that note.